Welcome back to Sonora Living Live. We are catering to our dads today, and you don't have to spend a ton of money to make your dad feel special this Father's Day. Our next guest says you could cook for your dear old dad and even make him breakfast in bed. Chef Jeff Hostinski from Z Tejas is scrambling in the kitchen this morning. Welcome to you. Uh, thank you. I am so excited that you're here because we are going to do a breakfast in bed. And what is it called? Um, it is called our chorizo pork scramble. And every dish that we're going to do today is geared towards the dad. You know, there's going to be red meat on top of salads. There's going to be chorizo stuffed pork tenderloins. And this is this is a man skillet right here. I love it. This and you know, and you said it. You know, for all the moms out there who are trying to get their hubbies, their dads into shape. This is one day. Let's let yes. him have fun on this one day, right? Let him gorge himself and sit on the couch and do nothing because it is his day. That's his right. day. Because your day was just a couple weeks ago. <laughs> You know. no, yeah, well, you know, you know what we always say, it's Mom's Day every day, but you're right. This is Dad's <laughs> Day, and it's our chance to give back to him. So you're going to yep. put me to work. I am so going to put get you to work. Here. So if you want to step over you here. You got it. You got it. So what we're going to first do is uh, we're going to put a little bit of uh, pork tenderloin, chorizo, and uh, peppers in this pan. And this is probably going to. Nice and hot. Yeah, like nice it. and hot. The, uh, the stove here at Sonoran Living works very, yes. very well. Well, I'm glad to hear that because sometimes we, we question it. So oh, I'm no, glad this, you're saying it's it, it on works fire. Well. It works well. And then, so once this starts cooking a little bit, we're going to throw these potatoes. These are just, and you can cube up any potato with a little bit of poblano pepper, red pepper, and some uh, onion. And so while that's cooking, this is your part. Okay. You're going to take, this is uh, about two and a half, three eggs, uh, just whipped up, no, just a little bit of water. And then you're gonna season it with a little salt and pepper. And you, you were talking to me about, you know, if you do have a dad who is watching what he is eating, you can do egg substitute. You don't have to do. No, you can you can use egg whites. You can do egg substitute. I know my, you know, my family's they're they're watching their cholesterol. You know, we're Eastern European descent, so we're watching our cholesterol. And uh, so egg whites and egg substitutes are perfect for this dish. And you said this is the tool. Yeah. This is the tool. I That's, asked you, what are you, what are you stirring the scramble it, with? And you yeah. said this that is, is the tool. That in the restaurant business is called the million dollar tool. The million dollar tool. Yeah. It's simple spatula. My yep. husband swears by the spatula when it comes to our eggs. Yep. And I'm scrambling these, yep. right? Just, you're going to scramble that up. Okay. So we're going to give this ni a nice little toss. And as you can see, this is all coming together. The nice. flavors are starting to combine Ooh, it in there. Good. It does smell good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You're doing a great job over there, by the Thank way. Thank you. I'm yeah. trying. I'm hey. trying. And the key to scrambling an egg or even cooking any egg is to not get brown, any brown color on it. Okay. That's what they taught us in culinary school, at least. I so don't I know. should take it kind of off the fire. Yeah, absolutely. That's actually okay. perfect right there. All right. And uh, at this point, you're going to probably want to, right before you put the, any of the food in the pan, you're going to want to turn your broiler on at home. Okay. Okay. Turn the broiler on because what you're going to do is you're going to take these potatoes and pork right from the, right from the pan, lay it right into the skillet. And then I'm going to bring this over to you to help you out. Okay. And then you're just going to pour that right on top. Oh, right on top. Okay. Yep. So lay it out nice and so you look. Oh, this is a, I mean, if this, this doesn't scream, good. if this doesn't scream bad, I don't know what does. And then this is just a little green chili sauce. You can omit this, but this gives it a little bit of extra, mm -hmm. extra little kick. And we're going to just let that go around the edges. And then a little cheddar cheese. Would you like to do the honors? I would love to do the okay. honors. Spread that I'm right over. So, yeah. There you go. And then this is what we call bacon gratin. It's just a little bit of cooked bacon chopped up with some breadcrumbs and a little bit of parsley. Mm. All right. And then we're just going to spread that on top. And this is the part where you open your oven, you slide it right underneath. Obviously not without, obviously right. without the towel. Right. But you let it uh, under the, set it under the broiler for about 25, 30 seconds. Let the cheese bubble, the breadcrumbs get nice and brown. Mm. And then this, again, you can omit this if you want, but this is chipotle puree. So this gives it a nice little smoky, and I'm going to throw the Z on there for ah, Z Tejas. And if you want to do a heart for dad. Oh, look at you. <laughs> High five. Well, I didn't even think yeah, about that, well, but look well, at you. No, I like the Z too. I like, I like the Z, but if you want to do a heart or just, you know, spell out a fun word, that would be a lot of fun as well. Yeah. Now, are you guys open for breakfast? We, we are actually open for brunch on Saturday and Sunday nice. from 10 to 3 in the afternoon. And uh, we have a great spread. We do a mimosa bar. We do a Bloody mm. Mary bar. It's build your own. We give you the uh, we give you the alcohol in a shot glass, and you get to go up and choose from a bunch of juices wow. and stuff. And uh, actually, one of the most extravagant ones is at the uh, 16th Street and Bethany Home location that we just opened up. If you want to come and see what you know a true spread of a, a Bloody Mary bar and mimosa bar is, that is you know that's where it, that's I where it's at. I love it. I and, love it. And if you and if again if you don't want to cook for your dad on 
uh, Father's Day. We're actually having, if you bring your dad in with your family, you know, the whole crew comes in and have, uh, have breakfast or lunch or whatever, dad gets a $25 gift card as a Aww. thank you. As a thank you for being a great father and a great mentor. Well, that and is awesome. And this is the finished product, yep, by the way. This so, is it. But you're coming back. To I'm, work. Yeah, we're I'm gonna, not going we're anywhere. Do some more stuff in just.